Good morning, Chairman Gray, members of the council. Oops. Members of the council. As you know, my name is Judith Sandalo. I'm executive director of the Children's Law Center and a proud resident of the District of Columbia, testifying today on behalf of Children's Law Center, which is the largest legal services organization in D.C. and the only one focused specifically on children. We serve about 1,200 children every year, and nearly every one of them attends public school in the District of Columbia. I want to focus uh, my remarks briefly on the special education portion of the budget, and I'm thrilled to have had your comments, Mr. Gray, at the beginning and raising the concerns about was there adequate funding. Um, this budget proposes a $2.1 million cut for special education within the ASI budget. We can't quite figure out where about $1 million of that cut comes from, and I hope that you will inquire of Ms. Briggs to get more clarity about whether that is a sustainable cut. We are concerned with about $500,000 of that cut, which is to reduce the number of hearing officers. And we're concerned about that because we're on schedule to exit the Blackman-Jones class action lawsuit, in part because we're actually beginning to comply with the law um, and, and have those hearings on time. We haven't yet gotten there. We still have about an 8% lag. And by cutting as many officers as they are proposing, we're concerned it will get us out of compliance with federal law and, and, and keep that class action lawsuit going and in the end cost the city more money. Um, so we would ask you to take a look at that very carefully. Um, there's a very small piece of the budget, which in my, um, my testimony talks about they're trying to raise a very small amount, $25,000 in revenue, by charging parents for transcripts. I had the chance to talk to Ms. Briggs before the hearing today, and she assures me that they are not planning to ask parents to pay for, especially low-income parents, the first copy of the transcript. So with your indulgence, we would like to submit some language that could potentially amend the BSA to in conform with what Ms. Briggs assures me is, is their intention. Mm -hmm. um, on a slightly more positive note, um, <laughs> we're delighted to see that ASI proposes to increase funding for the training and technical assistance to comply with some very impressive changes they have made to the special education regulations. We think that is a very wise investment of money. ASI has done a terrific job of rewriting and making our regulations comply with federal law. We think they will be good for special education students and their families. Um, but right now, many, especially of our charter schools, don't understand the regulations and aren't complying. And that just costs the city money because it leads to more um, legal actions being filed. It leads to more non-public placements. So we think this is a wise investment, which will, in the end, save the district money. And lastly, I want to commend ASI for um, their work on the DC Early Intervention Program. I know that you, Chairman Gray, particularly understand the importance of early intervention, um, and we're delighted to see that there is a small increase in funding for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was 